What about it's your boy, Mr. Downtown Ray Mo? You're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Orlando for Wednesday, February 1st, 2023, delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the Entertainment Report with Ray Mo. That's R E Y M E L O on Twitter at the Enter Report or on Instagram at the Entertainment Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Heart Radio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Actor Austin Butler is looking back on his immediate connection with late singer Lisa Marie Presley. The 31-year-old actor recounted his first meeting with Presley at Graceland during Monday's episode of The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. Butler played Presley's father, late rock and roll icon Elvis Presley, in the film Elvis, released in June. He and Lisa Marie Presley, who died on January 12th at the age of 54, first met during the screening of Elvis at Graceland. On The Tonight Show, Butler recalled how he and Lisa Marie Presley formed an immediate bond. The actor said, I first met Lisa when we screened the film at Graceland, and I've never had an experience where I met somebody and felt an immediate depth of relationship to them. She was a person who didn't really have anybody, anything to prove and wouldn't open up to everybody. And she just opened up to me and we got so close so fast. Butler says Lisa Marie Presley's death has been devastated. He says it's weird in moments like these because it's so bittersweet. I mean, so much great stuff is happening, but it's really, I'm just, you know, devastated for her family and for her to not be here celebrating with us. Butler also played a game of egg roulette on the Tonight Show with uh, host with Tonight Show host Jimmy Fallon. Butler is nominated for an Oscar for Best Actor of his performance as Elvis Presley. Nickelodeon has announced the hosts and nominees for the 2023 Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards. This year's award show will take place March 4th at the Microsoft Theater in Los Angeles and air at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Nickelodeon. CBS Morning co-host Nate Burleson and TikTok star Charlie D'Amelio will host the event. Uh, The Burleson said in a press release, hosting NFL Slime Time has always been a blast and I can't wait to bring that same energy and slime as co-host of the iconic Kick Choice Awards. I grew up on Nickelodeon and my kids still love watching it, so we're all ready for the stunts, the prizes, and superstars that await us at this year's show. Uh, D'Amelio added, I got slime at the KCA's in 2021. Saw my sister get slime last year at last year's show, and now no one is safe with me as co-host. Nate and I will make sure this year's show is full of unexpected slime shots, impressive dances, and surprise tricks along the way. Stranger Things leads the nominee with six nominations, including... Fa- uh, favorite family TV show, That Girl Lele, the high school musical, the musical, the series, and the Fairly Odd Parents, Fairly Otter, uh, follow four nominations each. First time nominees include Jenna Ortega, Jack Harlow, Joji, Nikki, Nikki Yor, and Lalisha Wright. Universal Pictures released a poster for Fast X on Tuesday. The teaser for the 10th film in the Fast and the Furious franchise, not including the spin-off Hobbs and Shaw, suggests it might not be the final film. Vin Diesel appears as Dominic Toretto in Shadow, holding the silver cross that he gave to Letty, played by Michelle Rodriguez. The test uh, uh, reads, The End of the Road Begins. The word begins leaves the film open to set up an 11th film. In 2020, Deadline reported that the 10th film will be a two-part conclusion, but that proposals have been not been addressed since production shakeups. Fast X lost director Justin Lin in its first week of production. Louis Leterrier took over. Rita Moreno, Jason Momoa, Brie Larson, Alan Richardson, and Danielle Melcher joined the returning ensemble cast. Universal released a trailer for Fast X, The film opens on May 19th. FBI and its spinoff FBI International and FBI Most Wanted will have a crossover event in April. CBS said in a press release on Tuesday that the series will have a 
three-hour global crossover event, April 4th, beginning at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on CBS. The crossover will be available to stream on Paramount. The event will be the second crossover for the FBI series created by Dick Wolf. The first crossover aired in September 2021. Um, the CBS Entertainment EVP of current programming, Eric Kim, said in a statement, As the FBI's continue to dominate on Tuesday's nights, we will bring these three heroic um, and popular teams together for a second time. Our April 4th crossover event will be a non-stop thrilling experience that will keep viewers engaged in ways that only Dick Wolf, FBI, can FBI is in its fifth season on CBS, and it stars Missy Peregrine, Zico Zaki, and Jeremy Sisto. FBI Most Wanted will return for a fourth season. In September, it stars Roxy Sternberg, Keisha Castle-Hughes, and Alexa Davalos. While FBI International is in its second, and stars Luke Kleintak, Hilda Reed, and Carter Redwood. Acapulco will return for a third season on Apple TV+. Plus. The streaming service said in a press release Monday that it renewed the comedy series for season three. Acapulco is inspired by the 2017 film How to Be a Land Lover. The series follows Maximila Gallardo, played by Enriquez Arizon, a 20-something cabana boy at the hottest resort in Acapulco. Um, the synopsis reads, in 1985, Maximila... Uh, must contend with upheaval at the result, unexpected problems at home, and a new love interest who might just rival the girl of his dreams. Under Pablo's guidance, he set his eyes on one day running the entire La Cocinia's uh, operation by becoming the right-hand man of Diane. Meanwhile, in present day, uh, uh, older Maximilian, played by Eugenio de Bris, returns to Acapulco to make peace with the recent passing of Don Pablo, where he forced to confront some unfinished business young Maximilian left behind. Acapulco is written and created by Austin Weinsberg, Eduardo Cineros, and Jason Sherman. As Debris said in a statement, we at Three Pass Studios are thankful for Appy TV Plus, the perfect home for Acapulco, along with our production company, Debris. Now, we have uh, we have also uh, overwhelming response from audiences all over the world and have fallen in love with Acapulco. The Apple TV Plus head of international programming, Morgan Wandel, says Eugenio, Austin, Ben. Eric, Kim, and the talented cast and crew behind Acapulco have created a feel-good show that has a lot of heart, emotions, and laughs, and we can't wait to bring even more of that season three. The time-traveling drama Kendrick and the comedy series Reboot will not get a second season on the streaming service Hulu. Kendrick stars Mallory Johnson, Micaiah Stock, Ryan Catwin, Galen Raskin, Austin Smith, David Alexander Kaplan, Sophina Bra- Brown, and Sahira Irving. The eight-episode adaptation of Octavia E. Butler's beloved novel was released in its entirety in 2013, but failed to catch on with its viewers. Keegan-Michael Key, Johnny Mox, Knoxville, and Julie Greal, Poor Riser, and Rachel Bloom starred in Reboot, which is about the former cast of a sitcom getting back together for a revival of the series. And last but not least, um, Modern Family creator Stephen Lathan, who wrote and produced Reboot, is shopping the show for other networks. Showtime has canceled three of its new dramas as the cable TV network has rebranded Paramount Plus with Showtime. Let the Right One In, led by Dominic Beecher, an American gigolo featuring John Berthenau, won't be renewed for a second season. While the recent new f- uh, f- uh, the recent film new series, Three Women, starring Shalane uh, Woodley, is no longer set to premiere on the network. 
Short-lived shows include Kidding, American Rust, um, Becoming God in Central Florida, and Super Pump. They've both been removed on the platform. Paramount Global CEO Bob Barsk said in a statement, We are announced that we will be fully integrating Showtime into Paramount accounts, both streaming and linear platforms later this year, providing a man... Uh, providing even more popular franchises and or hit originals for viewers to enjoy. To, ref- uh, to reflect this change, both our premier st- streaming tier on Paramount Plus and the Showtime Linear Network will become paranoid at Showtime. Alec Baldwin and his armor have been formally charged with involuntary manslaughter in the deadly shooting on the set of the film Rust that killed a cinematographer. The Santa Fe District Attorney filed an involuntary manslaughter charges Tuesday against Baldwin and his weapons armor Hannah Gutierrez Reed, alleging the actor had not properly trained uh, to handle the weapon that killed cinematographer Helena Hutchins because he was distracted. The evidence clearly indicates that Baldwin recklessly ignored these rules on multiple occasions, resulting in the fatal shooting. According to a 10-page statement and probable cause that was filled with the charges, Hudgens was killed at the Bonanza Creek Ranch in New Mexico on October 21, 2021, when the prop held by Baldwin discharged. Tuesday's charging document outlines a number of acts or omissions and recklessness that led to the shooting. Those include not using a replica firearm for an unscheduled rehearsal, letting the armor leave the set, not performing required safety checks, and not dealing with safe complaints on the set. The assistant director of Russ, David Hallis, uh, handed the weapon to Baldwin before he, he before the shooting and is facing a single disdemeanor count of late negligence using the uh, the Delhi weapon. After signing a plea D, uh, Howells is expected to serve a suspended sentence of six years. Country music star Morgan Wallen has announced his third studio album, One Thing at a Time, is set for release on March 3rd. The project includes 36 songs, three of which... Last night, Everything I Love and I Wrote the Book were released on Monday. Other memorable titles include Born with the Beer in My Hand and Die a Man. Wallen said in a statement, This record represents the last few years of my life, the highs and lows. It also brings together the musical influences that have shaped me as an artist. Country, alternative, and hip-hop. These are 36 songs on this album because we just kept exploring with fresh lyrics, music, and production ideas, as well as the lyrics that felt right to me. It was a blast to create a, a uh, to create, and I was so grateful to be back in the studio to lay out this out for my fans. His latest effort, Dangerous, the double album, was released in 2021. It's still in the top ten of the Billboard 200 charts, dated as of last weekend. The Fall Out Boy is going on tour in 2023. The Rock Bag announced a new North American tour, So Much for Tour Dust, tour on Tuesday. The new tour kicks off June 21st in Chicago, Illinois, and ends August 6th in Camden, Jersey. Tickets go on sale Friday at 10 a.m. local time, and with pre-sales to begin Thursday at 10 a.m. Fall Out Boy will be joined by special guests Bring Me the Horizon, Royal Separatin, Al K9 Trio, Newfound Glory, Four Years Strong, and the Academy Award is on selected dates. Fall Out Boy will release its eighth studio album, So Much for Stardust, on March 24th. Guitarist Joe Trauman announced this month that he will take a break from the band and focus on his mental health. Little Wayne is going back on tour in 2023. The four-year-old rapper and singer born Dwayne Michael Carter announced a new North American tour, the Welcome the Carter tour on Tuesday. Wayne kicked off the tour, will kick off the tour April 4th at Minneapolis, Minnesota, and tickets uh, bring the venture to a close May 13th in Los Angeles. Tickets go on sale Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time.
And that was your entertainment report for Wednesday, February 1st, 2023. I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello. I'll be back tomorrow to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Facebook.com slash the entertainment report with Ray Mello. That's R E Y M E L O. On Twitter at the Enter Report or on Instagram at the Entertainment Report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of the Entertainment Report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for the Entertainment Report. And I'll take you to the page. Good night, and God bless you all.